Hi guys, it's Nick, and this is my fifth video tutorial on the Arduino, and I'm gonna show you how to blink an LED without using the delay function. So in my first video tutorial, I showed you how to blink an LED, uh, how to use digital outputs, and blink an LED, and I used the delay function. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, please feel free to watch my first video. Uh, but when I was blinking the LED, I was using the delay function. And while it's great and fast to use, uh, there's a disadvantage with using the delay function that I'm going to show you with this circuit right here. Now, before I demonstrate this circuit, I want to just go over the wiring for it. So uh, here's my Arduino on pin 9. Uh, pin 9. I have the LED, which is connected to a resistor, and it goes to ground. Then I'm taking the power rails from my Arduino right here and bringing them to the power rail of my breadboard. Uh, five volts is going to go to one side of my push button switch. So my push button switch is right here. Uh, so five volts is going to one side of it. And the other side has a resistor right here that goes to ground. And Nick, uh, from that resistor, uh, I'm taking that signal and bringing it uh, to port two right here. And so port two is going to be a digital input that reads the state of the switch. Uh, I'm also using the onboard LED on pin 13. So what this circuit is designed to do is pin 13, I think you can see it, uh, it's blinking. So it's blinking on uh, for one second. I'm using a delay function and it's uh, blinking back off. And what I want to do is I want this LED right here to turn on and off based on if I press this button or not. So it, if I get it just right you see I press the button and there's a delay before the LED responds to what I want it to do and if I do it quick enough that I press the button and the LED doesn't respond at all so that's um, that's because of the way I'm blinking this LED on the Arduino board so if we take a look at the code that I'm using I'm using this Arduino code right here so at the beginning, I'm just declaring my, um, my pins as variables. And in my setup, I'm declaring pin my button pin, which is pin 2 as an input, my LED pin, uh, which is pin 13, so my, my onboard uh, LED as an output, and this button LED, pin 9, as an output. Now, in the loop, I'm doing two different things. First, I'm reading the button. If the button is high, I want to write this LED high. If the button's not high, I want to keep it low. And then I blink this um, LED right here by uh, changing its state. And I use a delay function of one second uh, in order to blink the LED. And this is where the problem comes in. So when we use the delay function, the delay function make it stops everything on the Arduino and the Arduino can't read sensors, it can't do any operations. So when we use the delay function, the Arduino is just sort of sitting there doing absolutely absolutely nothing. And if you think about it, when I press this button down, it has to wait until this delay is over and it goes back to the top of the loop and then it can read my button. So this is not great. So if you have an application that involves timing, uh, and timing is really important, you can't use the, the, the delay function because you might miss a lot of button presses or a lot of sensor information. You know, if you catch it just right, it might you might not even recognize it. So if I catch the uh, LED blinking right at the bottom of the, of the delay, if I can do it, you start, there's almost a minimal uh, delay, but there still is a delay. So we wanna come up with a way to blink this LED uh, without relying on that delay function. So first let's open a new sketchbook and I'm going to copy the code of my variable setup and my variables and setup because it's the same. Um, and I'm also going to copy my uh, reading the button because this will be the same. Now, what I want to do 
is I want to declare two more variables. And I want to declare them as an unsigned long integer. So unsigned long, and this is going to be the previous, previous time, and I'm going to initialize it to zero. And I want an unsigned long uh, current time. And I'm not going to uh, initialize this to any variable. So what is an unsigned long variable? Well, first, a long variable uh, is between these two numbers. It's between uh, minus 2 billion, 147 million, uh, 483,648 to 2,147,483,647. 400, 400, so a, a long allows our variable to be anywhere between these two numbers. Now, unsigned, when we say unsigned, uh, means it can't be negative. So it means it is not negative. Uh, so what happens when we call unsigned long is we're taking all these values that are negative and we're shifting them to the other side of the zero and um, unsigned long is going to be from zero to uh, 4 billion, 294 million, 967,295. And you get this number if you add, uh, when you move this to the other side of zero. So all these values uh, are accounted for on the positive side of zero. So an unsigned long uh, is going to be anywhere from these two numbers. If you have a number that is higher uh, than this number right here, so let's say it's 4 million two hundred uh, ninety four oops, uh, 4 billion, 294 million, uh, 967,000 and 296. What this will actually do is wrap back around to zero. So sometimes when you deal with really large numbers, um, you get really weird results because uh, you have to take into account the variable, variable types and it wraps back around to zero. But uh, this will be fine for our application right here. So after we read the button, we want to blink the LED. And we want to blink the LED by using this function uh, called uh, millis or millis. So we say that our current time is equal to uh, millis or millis. I, I say millis a lot. So what this does, this function millis uh, returns the amount of time Since the Arduino, since the Arduino sketch started running uh, in milliseconds, and you can use this, uh, it it overflows, so it's gonna get bigger than f this number right here. Uh, once ever, oops, I think I'm off the screen. Uh, so this overflows. It's going to get bigger than that number once about every 50 days. So we're assigning current time to the amount of time that the Arduino has been running our sketch. And then we want to use an if statement for comparison. So we want to say if this current time minus our previous time which starts out at zero is greater than uh, 1,000. So I want to, this 1,000 is one second. So if our current time minus our previous time is greater than 1,000, so one second interval has passed, then we want to uh, blink the LED. So what we want to do is we want to, uh, if, what do I call it? If LED state uh, is equal to high, then LED state is now going to be equal to low. Else, LED state is going to be equal to high. Uh, and then 
we want to do two more things. We want to write digital write our LED uh, button pin, uh, button LED. We want to digital write our butt. Uh, I'm sorry. We want to digital write our LED pin to whatever LED state it is at. And we want to put a semicolon. And then we also want to reinitialize this previous time. So previous time is going to equal whatever our current time is. Um, and we do this so um, we're sort of shifting this whole time interval that we're looking at. If we don't remember to redeclare this previous time, this previous time is just going to remain zero. And it's going to be like this LED stays on or stays off. Uh, so uh, because our current time is going to keep getting higher and higher, but our previous time would have just stayed the same. So if we declare previous time as whatever the current time is, then this becomes essentially our new sort of zero. And our current time is going to keep getting higher. And when we subtract it from this new, this new time, which is where we are right now, uh, and if it's greater than 1,000, we know another second has passed. So um, this is how we blink without an LED. And if we upload this, hopefully I don't have any errors. We upload this, and we notice that this LED is blinking in one second increments. And when I press this button right here, it doesn't matter if the LED, uh, where this LED is blinking, this LED is going to um, blink whenever I press the button. All right, so the last thing I wanna do is try to go over this uh, if statement right here. Uh, when we're blinking the LED with this conditional if statement, with this current time minus the previous time is greater than a thousand uh, in a more visual representation because I know it's still, it's a little hard to understand what's going on. So I've drawn a lot of this visual, um, a lot of the information we need out. Uh, we know that our previous time is equal to zero. We declared that at the top of our code and we know that current time is equal to millis and this is being redeclared every time that we go through this void loop. Now there's a couple of assumptions I'm going to make when I am showing you this that doesn't necessarily uh, hold true when we're actually running it under on in Arduino. Now the first assumption I'm going to make is each time through this loop it takes uh, I want five thousand and one uh, milliseconds. So I'm saying that the first time through this loop is zero, the second time is 501, the third time is 1002. Uh, in reality, this happens much, much, much faster, uh, orders of magnitude faster. Uh, and the second thing, I'm going to assume that everything in this loop is uh, happens instantaneously, and it doesn't take any time to run any of these pieces of code. Um, but also, it, in reality, it takes time for each line of code. It takes actual time to run it, even though it might not be that much time. Uh, so, so what's going on here? Now, if my pen will cooperate. Okay. Uh, the first time when we started our Arduino, our previous time is equal to zero, and our current time going through this loop is going to be equal to zero. So this current time in millisecond uh, is going to be zero. So we're going to have zero minus zero. And this is going to be equal to zero. So our first time through the loop, um, zero is less than 1,000. So this if statement doesn't run. And we go back to the top of the loop. Next time through, our current time is going to be equal to 501. So we're going to have be right here. And this is going to be 501. Now 501 minus zero is equal to 501. Again, this is not greater than 1,000. So we're gonna go back to the top of the loop again. This part of the code is not going to execute because this condition is not met. So the, the third time through this loop, uh, 
we're going to add another, it takes another 501 milliseconds. So it's going to be right here, it's going to take 1000, we're going to be at 1002 milliseconds. Now 1002 1, of uh, 1002 minus zero is equal to 1000 and two, and 1002 now is greater than this uh, 1000 seconds, so this LED is going to change its state, it's going to blink, and finally we're going to uh, assign previous time is equal to current time. So previous time right here is not going to be equal to zero anymore, it's going to be equal to uh, 1000 and two because that's what our new current time is. So here's our new previous time. This is our new previous time. And we're gonna go through the loop again. So the next time through our loop, we're gonna add 501 milliseconds to this. So we're gonna get 1,503. Uh, we're going to have this time 1,503 minus 1002, and this is going to be equal to uh, 501. Uh, 501 is not greater than this 1000, so we go back to the void, the top of this void loop without, without actually doing this if statement. The next time through this loop, we add 500, we come over here, this is going to be uh, 2004. So, so when we subtract 2004 minus 1002, we get this is equal to uh, 1002. And again, this is greater than 1000. So uh, we perform this blinking the LED and our previous time is now again, no longer 1002. It's now going to be uh, 2004 in the same pattern. So this is no longer the new previous time. This is the new previous time. Uh, and the pattern is going to keep continuing. And this is why we're assigning previous time is equal to current time. Uh, and I, I hope this, if, if you were confused at what I was doing before, I hope this helped and didn't make it make you more confused.